Hi. Okay, we have our budget has increased by $2,035 this year. 75% uh, of that is $1,500 uh, for monitoring of the 150 parcels of town land, some with conservation easements, some not. Um, so that's the new item and that's the bulk of the increase. Otherwise, our increase would be in the 1% 1, 1 range were it not for that addition. Uh, I can go through the other detail, but I think that um, that monitoring piece is probably the biggest piece. That's something new. Uh, it is the responsibility of the Conservation Commission to monitor those 150 parcels of town on land. Uh, we are not able to do it with one part-time staff member who is very busy right now working on community rating system for the flood insurance and does not have the opportunity to get out to do that. Fortunately, we were able to get a grant this year, a Davis Foundation grant, to hire an intern for the summer uh, uh, to go out and monitor some of these lands. And we were able to look at 40 parcels of land this year uh, with the help of this young man out there. And this grant that we received this year to do it is um, not renewable. We cannot get that grant again next year. But the effort this year was very rewarding. It was worthwhile. We learned a lot. Um, and we would like to continue the process and look at perhaps another 40 parcels again next year and um, hire a summer intern again to do that. So that's the bulk of the increase in the budget. Um, would you like me to go through the other categories? I'm all set. I'm all set. You're all set? I think everybody's all set. It's, it's, it's such a small, it, well, small, well, small budget. It's a $35,000 budget. budget. Right, and, it's, yeah. and the increase is also small. So I think we don't have any questions. Well, the the, oh, the intern is... $12 an hour for 125 hours, that's, that's he all? He worked, uh, we had, we got $1,500, yeah. we scheduled 120 hours of work, so he's somewhere in that, okay. in that range, the $12,000. In, in that amount of time, he was able to, how many properties you 40. said? 40. 40 properties. He which? covered some of the marsh area, he covered some of the forested areas, the town forest specifically, we focused on, he looked at Meadow Pond. And he looked at a couple of parcels over on the west side. So what, we, what kinds of things did he do when he looked at them? Just so the public knows, you know, what, what they're... Uh, we're looking for problems. We're looking for um, opportunities to Im improve the land. We're looking at the health of the land. Uh, we found concerns were both human and biological. For example, in the marshes, there's um, destabilization and erosion of the banks along the marsh edges and he found like two causes for that one being the speeding boats that erode those those banks that was the human cause the biological was the green crabs who bore in and destabilized the banks uh, in the forested land the biggest human concern was dumping he found a refrigerator he took a picture of and milk cartons and assorted dumping of stuff that was both in the forested land and in the in the marsh areas um, the biological problem was mosquitoes and no spiders to eat the mosquitoes so we're looking at possible solutions for that how to try to keep the mosquito population down like insect eating plants there that sort so, of thing so that the, those so were the kinds of things in we fact were what you're saying is is fifteen hundred dollars but yeah. again, the productivity you got out of the, the you know, the, the payback for the fifteen hundred dollars was immense. It's yes. well worth it. Yeah, and I think that's what people have to realize sometimes in a budget when you're increasing something that what's the payback, and it's a huge payback. So, I, so yes. thank you for. Yeah. It really is our charge to be monitoring the town's properties, and especially those that are conservation lands or those that have <coughs> conservation easements, to make sure that the letter of the easement is being honored, that the properties are not being abused or misused. Um, and as Barbara said, with 
being a volunteer board and just having a part-time coordinator, we haven't had the ability to do that. So having this intern this past summer tells us what we can do. And if we can monitor 40 properties a year, that means that we can monitor every property in town about every three or four years or so to, so to be constantly doing a check on them. And I think that's going to be a huge benefit to the town. Thank you. Very good point. Uh, Rick. Um, yeah. Barbara, you seem to be doing a great job since you've uh, taken over over there. Almost. <laughs> you get a lot of support. I can see that. Yeah. I was just going to ask you, have, uh, have either of you heard about uh, that they put in some type of a wall or a almost like a lock, it sounds like. Someone said it, it's made of metal. Uh, on the marsh at Salisbury at the Seabrook. Uh, you know, like they have all those streets. I think they go, they're, they're numeral streets like 11, 12, 13, 14 in that area. Right on the marsh at the end of the street, there's supposedly some type of a wall that's gone in there. No. Is it like a tide gate, do you know? I don't know. I'm going to try to go over and find out something about it. I thought I would ask you when I saw you if you had heard anything about it. I've heard people talking about it. So um, it sounds interesting. We'll look into it. Yeah. Do you know what it's designed to accomplish? No. I mean, someone was asking me if I knew anything about it, but it is around 12th Street, and I think that's Salisbury. Okay. They have the Seabird and there. We'll try to find out. Yeah. We'll find out. Thank you. Okay. Oh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Barbara, excellent job this year. You had some, uh, some big game, and uh, you uh, traversed it nicely. And uh, you performed remarkably, and your uh, your committee did a wonderful job, and uh, you inherited a wonderful uh, uh, organization from that that youngster on your left. <laughs> he was young, but uh, he did okay. So thank you very much, and it's a very important important commission in this town. And uh, what you do is uh, extraordinary. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you all.